I'm Christopher Stout, a vascular surgeon with Ozark Regional Vein and Artery Center. Today, we're going to talk about venous and arterial venous malformations. Well, an AVM stands for arteriovenous malformation. Basically, the arteries take blood from the heart down to the body, and the veins are what takes the blood after it's gone through the skin and fat and muscle and bone after it's perfused and given it oxygen and fuel, then the veins bring it back to the heart. In between the two, we have little things called capillaries. And those are kind of the connection that allows that to happen to get um, nutrients to the tissues. In some people, there's, um, there's a congenital malformation or they're born with this. And the artery doesn't have the connection to the tissues through the capillaries. The artery connects directly to the vein. That basically allows blood to flow down the artery and back up the vein um, versus going down the artery through skin, bone, fat, muscle, which is pretty hard to push it through there and then back to the heart. They can also be caused by trauma, um, whether you've got a puncture wound um, or a gunshot wound or something like that, or something as easy as I had a farmer that was building fence and accidentally stabbed himself in his, um, just above his wrist and developed a huge AV malformation in there from that. So it can be little trivial trauma things like that, but generally requires some type of puncture to injure the artery in the vein. AV malformations are a tough, tough problem to have. And um, generally it, it takes multiple tests to help diagnose and determine the extent, and it takes uh, multiple uh, different procedures in order to get this under control and get it to where it's a size and the small and take the pressure out of it. And if you can take the pressure out of it, even if it's still open, you depressurize it, and then that takes care of the pain and the symptoms, and you take the pressure off of it, then it's less likely to grow over time. If you have any further questions uh, or want more information, go into our website. You can get an appointment. We have videos and more information for you, or give me a call. We'll be more than happy to help.